Hello everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. And today guys I'm going to continue working on my Halloween special dolls. This year I've already made Lydia from Beetlejuice. I've already made a gorgeous Maleficent and today I want to make Tiffany the Chucky's Bride. I don't know, I think this is a very cool character, such a very angry, evil, furious lady and I also think that the way she looks is also kind of new and interesting for me, for my style of uh, drawing and doll customizing in general. So so let's do it, let's make Tiffany today, the Bride of Chucky. And I think I'm going to use uh, the Rainbow High doll for this makeover, simply because I think that Rainbow High dolls have more similar body proportions to look like Tiffany, the Bride of Chucky. So this doll is gonna be our model for today and I think she's absolutely perfect for this project. So guys, and let's probably keep this intro very short, this is everything I wanted to tell you, this is everything you need to know in the beginning. Of course, of course, I should remind you to subscribe to my channel, to hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course in the beginning I always ask you to like this video because it really helps my channel to get into the YouTube algorithm. So and this being said, let's start working. So this is the doll without all the shiny packaging and I literally cannot believe what I see. She has two left hands, literally, <laughs> I don't know just why. So I will have to solve this problem later and for now let's just undress her, let's cut her hair off, cut off the lashes and then I will remove her face with pure acetone. You can see she has some black staining from this outfit on her hips and her legs as well. It's not good, I don't think I will be able to get rid of it. This green eyeliner and also these things on her cheeks, you can see they have left some green staining as well. 
But I think I will be able to cover it up with soft pastels. You know, I've covered up worse stains in the past, so I don't think it will be a problem. Well, after sealing her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant, I can start drawing her face. And first of all, I'm sketching her eyebrows and the lips. Then I'm moving on to her skin tone, and then I'm going to work on her dramatic eyeshadows. I want to make her look very dramatic in general, not just the eyeshadows. I want her to have a very angry facial expression. You know, mostly Rainbow High dolls, they look super cute before and especially after repainting. And I want to make the most furious Rainbow High doll in the universe today, if it's even possible. So we will see in the end of this video how it's gonna work. I want her eyes to be green and, you know, kind of glowing with this evil light, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I want to draw these creepy teeth. You remember her very scary looking bottom teeth when she is smiling. So I want to create something similar on her face. Okay guys, I think she looks absolutely terrifying, love it, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Now I still need to blush her body, but before this I have to borrow a right hand from a different Rainbow High doll, and then I will sand her body, seal it, and then I will blush it with soft pastels. Yeah. 
Yeah, as I told you already earlier, I don't really think I will be able to send this blackness of her legs. This looks like a deep stain to me, so I'm glad this areas of her body will be covered with the outfit. Tiffany has this heart tattoo on her chest, so let's draw it. In the end I'm painting her nails and her underwear black and after this the face and the body are completely finished. Beautiful, I don't know, what should we do next? Let's probably make her hair first and I will use this light yellow yarn for it. It will look like a perfect dyed blonde hair color after I straighten it. You will see right now it looks a little bit more yellow than it will in the end. But now let's quickly turn this yarn into hair and then I will glue it to the doll's head and you will see that the color will be perfect. Great, her hair looks really good so far, now let's give it a cut and Tiffany has kind of a long bob hair with elements of a mullet hair style, I don't even know how to describe it, but let's make something similar.
So this is where I've ended up with the styling and now I'm going to take soft pastels and I will start darkening the roots of her hair. Yes, now it looks beautiful. Now it all really came together. Beautiful hair, looks very natural. I'm very happy about it. So now let's probably attach falsies, apply gloss to her eyes and lips to finish the face. And then we'll see how my mom is doing there working on her outfit. Yes, by the way, I've forgotten to tell you in the beginning of this video, my mom is helping me with the outfit today. So it's gonna be very pretty, I think. And my mom has quite a difficult challenge today, once again, <laughs> to be honest, I always give her the most difficult outfits because she's just better in it than myself. So today my mom is working on a white wedding dress and a black biker's jacket, leather jacket. And this is, by the way, the first outfit for a rainbow high doll that my mom is working on, on this channel and in her life in general. I mean, really, like, the first one ever, before she always made dresses just for Barbie and Monster High dolls, so I think this deserves a like. The very first Rainbow High outfit made by my mom. And by the way, also don't forget to subscribe to her Instagram and to mine as well. I've been pretty active there already for some months, really enjoying it, so subscribe to everyone's Instagram. And you can see that my mom decided to begin with making the wedding dress, I don't know, probably because it's a little bit easier than the jacket. Making that jacket is just an insane job because it exists out of multiple tiny details and I'm not even talking about all kinds of zippers, other shiny parts, plus leather is not an easy material to work on in general but as you can see my mom is slaying it once again This is the finished outfit, you can see this is how it arrived at my studio, as always everything so beautifully packed, but what is inside of this packaging is even better. Just check it out, I don't know, it's just perfect, I don't even know what to say, absolutely perfect. The dress, the jacket, everything is just ideal, really, my mom is a genius, please give her a like, I think she deserves it. To complete the look, I will quickly customize this pair of rainbow high boots. I think they will be absolutely perfect here. And then we will make some more exciting accessories.
I want to make a knife for her because you know we're dealing with a very dangerous lady today better watch out and I will use warbler thermoplastic for it of course because warbler is just perfect for everything And my mini knife looks already absolutely great. So now let's paint the doll and cover the blade with silver. So guys, here is the finished mini knife. I absolutely love it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So, and now I want to make a bottle of champagne for her because I think this piece of accessory really fits the character and I absolutely don't want to miss it. So, I'm starting with making something bottle shaped out of Warbler Thermoplastic once again. Yeah, something like this will work, I think. So now let's paint it and add stickers, uh, golden foil, like all these things. This is what I've made. Check out my mini champagne bottle. Beautiful. I think it looks super beautiful. Well, I don't know. It's probably the most beautiful thing I've ever made. It looks super cute. Love it. So, and now guys, I think I've made everything I've planned today and we can move to the end result pictures. 
And this is my finished Tiffany, the Chucky's Bright doll. And you know, I think this is really the scariest doll I've ever made. I've made a couple of monsters in the past, but this lady is just the next level of scary to me. Just look at her, she's straight evil. There is no doubt about it. Just look at her face, really super scary. And I think this is definitely the most furious looking doll I've ever created. It feels like I'm a little bit scared of my own doll this time. But it was a fun project, I really enjoyed working on it, and I especially enjoyed making this mini bottle of champagne that was pure fun. My mom's outfit, it looks stunning as usual, another masterpiece, her very first Rainbow High outfit. And by the way, this is also my very first Halloween special featuring the Rainbow High doll. I've just realized it, so I think it deserves a like. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you like this makeover today and I'm really curious to hear what part of it was your favorite, the angry face, the cool outfit or maybe the champagne bottle. Please let me know in the comments under this video and if you want to invite this furious lady to your house for some mystic reason, you can find her on eBay for three days. The link is in the description box under this video like always, so please go there and check it out. So guys, and that was it, that was my doll transformation of the week, that was my third Halloween special doll this year. I really hope you enjoyed this makeover, and if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon, next week Friday, in my last Halloween special. Love you guys, bye!